In this video, we're going to show you how to change a bunch of names very quickly without um, losing the associated parameters or relationships that are going on between the elements. So there's a complicated way to do that, which is using the macros. Um, we're not going to do that, but uh, know that there is a way to create your own macros and there is a macro example that looks like this that is available in your samples folder uh, of your Cameo download. So you go to samples and then product features and then macros and then this is the Python example. So and I modified that Python Python example right here. And so if I run this, if I go back to the top level of this and this is just going to make a few packages. So I run this and you see that uh, the macro has been executed and it created my new package with my classes beneath it. So right here is where I'm creating the, the classes and uh, this is where I'm naming them and setting the owner. So that's, uh, it, it, to read more about the macros, you can go to the Cameo Enterprise Architecture User Manual and there's a way to modify the element properties such as the name. I found this kind of complex uh, so we're going to do the Excel route, but do know that that resource does exist for you within the help and then Cameo Enterprise Architecture User Manual. So now to go to the name changes, we're going to add a prefix. We're going to convert these names to camel case, and we're going to change these names to uppercase. And to do that, we're, we're just going to change our scope to name changes, which we already have. So we have a new... Um, generic table that we created and we're going to drag in the element type of signal. I've got signals, blocks, and activities. Uh, just to show three different examples, you can have any element type. So we're just going to highlight all the ones that we want to change, push control C, which is copy, and then go into our Excel workbook. So this is just a new Excel workbook and we can just paste this in using control V. We can add our prefix, for example, which uh, we'll just do animal with the underscore. And we'll just hit this to bring it all the way down. And then we'll just use the concat function here. So like that. So now it's going to do that. So this is going to be our final. And then we can just copy this, control C, we go up to the top here and control V. Animal Cheetah, etc. went down and worked and you can see that it kept the properties hello and world. So we're going to copy that exam that, that same uh, methodology for the next one where we're going to do the camel case. So I've pulled in the block as my element type which I'm filtering in my generic table and uh, I will now copy these control C bring up my Excel table and then paste it in here. I've got a special um, formula here that I put in. So you can copy and paste this formula for yourself and then hit enter. And you see that it changes it to lowercase. Additionally, if you had um, like the underscore, you can, you can change this space right here to an underscore and then hit enter and it will do the same thing. So you can modify this formula as, as you need to. Um, but uh, here's our camel case solution. So we'll copy that and then we'll just go back in here and paste that. Notice that it still keeps the value properties in this case. And we'll go to our final example, which is our activity example. So we've got all of our names and we're just gonna try to change them to uppercase. So control C go back to Excel, control V, and we're just going to use the upper command to modify our text. Did that, control C, control V, and you can see that it kept the operations there as well. I uh, hope this example helps. Um, let me know if you have any solutions to the macro in the comments that might be even faster than what we just did. Thanks.